Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again. And during the holiday season, a lot of you may have upgraded to a new phone like me. And it's pretty easy to migrate all of your phone settings over these days. It used to be kind of a hassle. Now it's so much easier. But the only issue that a lot of you may be encountering if you're into crypto like me is there are certain apps that do not seamlessly migrate because they are device dependent. Those big apps that I'm talking about are Google Authenticator, Ledger Live, and the Tangem app if you're using Tangem wallets. So I wanted to show you how to get back to where you were before on your old phone quick and easy. So let's jump in. We're not going to do anything to our hardware wallets because they are intact, right? We're just going to get our phone apps up to date. Now with Google Authenticator, you definitely need your previous phone. So if you're doing any kind of upgrade with your phone carrier where you're trying to get a good deal by turning in the old phone, they usually give you 30 days before you have to turn in that old phone. So hang on to that old phone until we've got this little migration complete. All right, so I have both of my phones here. Um, and as you can see, the Apple migration did a pretty good job of just bringing all of my apps onto the new phone. And I'm pretty happy with that. So I, re I, I just had to log into a few accounts like my uh, 1Password and my Gmail to confirm my new device. That's all done. But there are, uh, as I mentioned, there's some very important apps for crypto users. And the first one I'm going to tackle is Google Authenticator. So if we open up Google Authenticator on my brand new phone, you can see that it's empty. Now, a lot of people panic when they see this, uh, but it's not that difficult to bring your settings over from the old phone. So uh, we'll just hit get started. Uh, you can sign in to your Google account if you want to, but uh, a lot of people don't really uh, want their uh, two factors syncing up to Google. So I'm just going to say use Authenticator without an account. All right, so you'll be presented with this screen, which means there are no accounts on there. And a lot of people panic about this because they had a bunch of accounts in there. But instead of signing into Google to move our uh, codes over, we're going to do it locally. Now, a lot of people might try to sign in, but if you have not synced up your previous phone uh, authenticator to your Google account, then those codes are not going to come over. Uh, so that's why we want to hang on to our old phone. So I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to go up to these three bars, the hamburger menu, and we'll say transfer accounts. And what we want to do is import accounts. Right. So it tells us to go over to our old device. We'll go over to the old device. We'll do transfer accounts and we're going to export accounts on the old device. All right. And they might ask you to enter your iPhone passcode. This is just the passcode that allows you to wake up your phone. You may not have used this in a while if you're using face ID or fingerprint, but you should know what it is. All right, and then once you've done that, uh, it has gives you access to all of these accounts. Now, if you don't want to migrate every single account, you can untick some of these. I'm going to go ahead and migrate everything. Now, you see, I've got quite a few, so it's going to be a little more involved for me, but basically the same process for you. We'll hit Next, and it's going to show me a QR code. Now, you might only get one QR code if you only have a few Google Authenticator accounts. I'm going to get a total of 10. So what you need to do is scan these one at a time with the new phone. So I'm going to choose scan QR code, allow camera access, and then I'll just scan in that QR code. All right? It tells me that I've scanned in one of two and hit continue. And now it wants the second QR code. So I'll tap next here. Now I'm on two of 10. I'll hold my phone over and there it goes. So notice it says it just scanned QR code two of 10 and now it wants me to scan three of 10. 
So uh, I'll just go to next here. I'm at three of 10 and then I'll hit continue here and then I'll go ahead and scan in number three. Boom. We hit next again on this on the old phone. Right. And then we hit continue and we scan four of 10. All right. We hit next again on the old phone. We hit continue. Scan in that QR code. Hit next again on the old phone. Next on the old phone. And then continue again. And boom. All the accounts have been imported. We'll hit OK. We can hit next on the old phone. And if you want to remove them on the old phone, you can choose remove exported accounts. So let's say you're going to keep the old phone for whatever reason and you don't want your Google codes on there. Um, if you're going to wipe the phone before you turn it in, it's not a big deal. Either way, the whole phone will be wiped. But I'm keeping this old phone around as my backup for my Google codes, right? Because these codes are going to still live on the old phone. So I'll hit keep exported accounts. I'll hit done. And now I've got them all right. Now you can see both phones are uh, synced up to all of my Google Authenticator accounts and they're generating the correct code. So uh, like I said, if you are turning in your old phone, uh, just wipe it and these Google codes won't be there anymore. But uh, I like to hang on to my old phone as a, a backup in case something happens to this phone. All right. Well, there we go. That was easy. Now, we don't need the old phone anymore because uh, the remaining accounts, uh, I'm, I need my uh, hardware devices. Oh, this is my crypto stuff. We'll go ahead and start with Tangem. So if we go into our crypto wallets, such as Tangem, uh, Tangem just thinks this is brand new. I'll go ahead and allow push. And basically, I have a blank Tangem wallet. So don't panic. Um, your cards still have all the information that you need. So I have uh, three cards. I've got a stealth card. I've got the old card. And I've got my Tangem ring. So let's go ahead and start with my uh, old card. We'll just hit scan Tangem. It wants me to hold the card up. And it wants my access code. The access code is the code that you set up in the beginning when you first initialized your card on the old phone. This is a security feature that prevents someone from finding one of your cards and syncing it up to your phone. So you'll need to enter your access code. And after you enter your access code, you'll hit continue. And it wants that card back. Right, it's going to give you a security alert because you're uh, using a pre-existing card. Um, and But that's fine. In this case, we it's our card. So we'll say this is my wallet. And then I'll enable Face ID. I like to use that. So I don't have to enter my access code every time I want to do something with my wallet. We'll allow Face ID. And then it wants to synchronize addresses. So it'll need the card one more time. We'll hit synchronize addresses, enter the access code one more time. Right, we'll hit continue. It wants that card back. Okay, and I've got my wallet back. All right, everything's good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, add my other wallets, right? We can manage multiple wallets, and I've been doing that. So I'll hit these three dots. We'll say add new wallet. Let's go ahead and do the tangent ring. So it wants me to hold the ring up to the back of the phone. Once again, I need that access code. We'll hit continue. It wants that ring again. All right. It's going to alert us that the uh, ring has already been set up. I know that. This is my ring. And then we want to do that sync addresses again. We'll need face ID. We'll need the ring again. All right. Looks like it switched over to the face ID, which I'm happy about. I hate entering that access code. So we got two uh, of my cards added. Let's go ahead and just do the third here. So one more time, we'll hit three dots, add wallet, scan the wallet, enter the access code, hit continue, hold the card up. 
going to give us that alert again. We say this is my wallet and now we're going to synchronize addresses one more time. Should ask for face ID. All right, I give it face ID and then I bring the card up. All right, so I've managed to uh, resync my three tangent cards. I can switch between them this way. And there we go. All right, so the next one we'll tackle is our Ledger Live. Okay, Ledger Live doesn't know anything about the previous devices. All of the, uh, this is a crypto app, it's device specific, right? So we'll hit get started. Uh, we can accept or refuse this. And uh, don't do set up your ledger. I think that's what a lot of people get tripped up by that. And then they start resetting their device and going through all kinds of crazy uh, gyrations. Uh, all we want to do is access an existing wallet. And I've got Ledger Sync enabled. So I'm going to use Ledger Sync. Uh, or you could just connect your device. But I'm going to do the Ledger Sync. Now I have Ledger Sync on my Flex. So what I need to do is um, unlock it. All right. And now that I have it unlocked, I want to open the Ledger Sync app. All right. Now that I'm in the Ledger Sync app, I'll go ahead and use the Ledger Sync. And I'm going to use my device. I'll allow Bluetooth here. Now, because I, it's blank, I need to add a ledger device. I need to pair my flex up. So I'll hit add ledger. I'll connect an existing ledger. It sees the flex. So I'll go ahead and tap that. And then uh, we'll do the pairing. All right. So we just want to make sure these numbers are the same. We'll say yes and pair. Oh, you need to be out of the app in order to do the pairing, right? So let's try that one more time. Okay. Now uh, it's going to continue with the Ledger Sync and ask me to open the Ledger Sync app. So we'll hit open and then uh, we're going to connect to Ledger Sync. We'll turn on Sync on this new device. All right, so it says sync successful. We can hit close here. And my balance is now synced up. I want to go ahead and sync up one more device. Because I also have a ledger stacks, which I'd like to sync up. So I'm going to unlock that. So let's go ahead and uh, pair this up so we'll be able to use it if we need it. Nothing more frustrating than trying to move crypto and then realizing that your device is not paired up and having to go through all that. Uh, while you're stressed out. So do it now. All right. So we'll go into my ledger here. I'm going to add a new device. I'll choose connect existing and it sees my stacks. All right. So we just go over to stacks. Let it pair up. Uh, we look at these numbers. They're the same. Yes, they match and pair. And we're good. We'll allow secure connection. And we're done. And there we go. We've got both our devices paired up now. And we're ready to roll. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click. That will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.